Hi everyone, it's Clint with Clint's Classic World. Wanted to talk to you briefly about this car right here. This is a 1971 440 six pack Challenger. It is a real 1971 V-Code 440 six pack Challenger. Very few were done and uh, produced in 1971. And uh, I want to go ahead and go through this. We've got some issues with this car. Basically, it's not running properly. The engine's not running. Somebody just threw this thing together. You can probably see from looking up and looking at this vehicle that there's a lot of things wrong with it. I mean, it's just a lot wrong. That uh, So I, I'm going to try to get involved here and take this thing apart and make it a lot nicer. Not going to do like a full-blown perfect restoration but it's going to be a lot nicer more of a very very nice driver so just stay tuned to my channel because i will be showing you more episodes as this thing comes apart and going to be taking the engine rebuilding the engine transmission going through the rear end I'm going to do some body work repaint the car it's going to do a lot of work to this car it's going to be a totally different looking car hopefully when we get through and look amazing. So stay tuned and let's get started on this car. Also make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel so you can keep updates on this vehicle. So I wanted to show you here the side and you can kind of see in the interior. I wanted to show you briefly the interior. You can see a lot of dust. This car has been sitting for a while because it hasn't been running. So let's just take a gander here look through the window. And see how much dust is accumulated there so let's open the door look inside there you go that's the inside of this vehicle seats are have some wear to them they're more of in driver condition they don't have huge tears or anything like that no no major tears but they do they do have some wear through the seat belt out of the way headliner is intact but it does have some, looks like some tears at the top. Dash is here, but you can see there's a dash crack there. It does have rally gauges, that's really cool. And door panels, door panels have some age to them. They're not in terrible condition, so the possibly use the door panels over again. Not bad. Not bad. Gonna need to replace the paneling in the back, the speakers. So, we're gonna have to take the seats out first. That's gonna be the first thing is to take the interior out of this car. Um, probably gonna leave the dash in here. Um, if it needs to come out, then we'll take it out. We're just gonna take it step by step, but the first step is to take out the console, to take out the seats, the front, the rear, just to get down to the floorboard, take out the kick panels, take off the door panels, the rear interior quarter panels, get all that stuff off this vehicle. And uh, then we can take off all the rubber. Now that I think of it, I'm gonna take all the rubber off because we're gonna repaint this whole car and it, it needs to have, it's, it's it painted in the wrong color right now. Original color, sassy grass green. So we're gonna take it back to its originality, original color. And uh, if you look here, you can see some pitting in this chrome. I can either take this off, take this apart, send it off, get it re-chromed. But if you see there's some damage, some wear on the mirror, they do sell new reproduction mirrors. And I might just buy some of those mirrors. So let's look at the back. As you can see, it has the RT tail panel set up with the black. Okay, so. Let's get into the interior, start tearing this thing down.